What is going on everybody? So today we're doing a video that is a little bit different than anything else I've done. And uh, basically, um, we're gonna go over a few things, but the gist of it is getting into popular groups. Uh, groups, just speaking on, I said it, I say in videos, you know, if you have, if you can't find the group or whatever, shoot me a message and I'll invite you. The problem we have with that now is a lot of the messages I've been getting on a daily basis, like one to two messages per day, have been people that I don't know at all. I've never seen them around. Uh, they have no mutual friends with me and they don't have any mutual groups with me. So I can't just invite people like that to certain groups and because at that point it's I'm kind of putting my name out there uh, almost basically vouching for the person to invite them because once you invite somebody into a group when the admin looks at that member it'll show them who invited them into the group so I can't put stick my neck out there anymore as much as I like to help people I just I can't do it anymore um, you know obviously if I know you or you have established mem uh, you're an established member of the community then obviously it's easier for you to get in those groups so basically <clears throat> there is no shortcut or easy way for you to just enter the the high-end community on Facebook everybody has to start somewhere and I noticed there's a lot of newer people that are trying to jump in and just <clears throat> expect that their first group that they get into is going to be something like the unknown group or the BMM group or groups like that um, and basically right now those groups are, have limited member entry um, and they only open up certain times out of the out of them certain months and they only allow a certain amount of people in in those certain times so it's very limited entry there's usually already a list of names lined up waiting to go in so when you request to go in you, you're usually entering a line um, so and the reason that why that is is because these companies are uh, usually one-man bands um, like unknown is basically Ross he's got a small team uh, Dane does the laser engraving for him and then he's got a few people that help him out but other than that it's basically just on Ross's back so as I you get people that comment on my videos saying nasty stuff like oh the elitist unknown I wish I could get one but they want to be elitist and the reality couldn't be farther from that um, don't you think that they would want to make 2,000 of them in, in one batch and make all that profit it doesn't make sense for them to only make a hundred of them if they were able to make 500 of them they would want to be capitalizing on as much profit as possible um, so that that's just not the reality of the situation the reality is they can't produce enough to fulfill the <clears throat> the want and that also adds to the reason why people end up wanting stuff more is because it's harder to get. Um, it's just all about, that's how the high-end community is. There's excitement, there's hype, there's fake hype, there's real hype. Um, and that's just part of the game. And if, you, if, you're, if you're not a fan of that, then maybe the high-end community isn't for you. And I'm not saying that like in a mean or nasty way. It's just some, some people would, uh, it, they, it doesn't make sense to them and that's fine I'm not saying that's bad or that's good it, it's a it's still vaping in their own style and nobody can judge you for that um, anyways uh, as I go off on a tangent here there is gonna be no shortcut for you to make it into these groups easily any usually anybody that's been in any of these groups have been members of the community for a fair amount of time and the best way I can recommend for you to be able to get in a group like BMM or unknown or the groups like that is first of all your profile needs to be established so your profile needs to be at least a year old it can't be a brand new profile and if it is a brand new profile you need to start slow and basically what you're gonna to wanna to do, whether your profile is new or older, 
Um, usually it helps to have a picture of you on your Facebook, but that's not necessary. There are plenty of profiles out, excuse me, plenty of profiles out there that don't have pictures of who the person is. Um, but yeah, you have to start slow, start meeting people, start talking to people, become friends with people. The more mutual friends you have on your profile of people in the high-end community, the more established and legitimate your profile is going to look when an admin is considering accepting or denying your request. Along with that, another big part is what groups are you in? So if you're in zero groups that the admin is in, then that shows that you're not in any any groups that they are involved with either and it makes you look not legitimate so the best way is to start in groups that are easier to get in uh, my group the copa isn't the hardest to get in because we don't make products we just a bst and you know community group where we just chat and hand checks whatever talk about shit ask questions so it's not that hard to get into my group, the COPA. All you have to do is request and your profile has to be at least a year and a half old. We have a lot of scamming in the community. And it also, that's a big thing if you're newer, do not be sending random people money. Um, also, modders usually do not just randomly PM you and say, hey, this is what we got. Wanna buy it? Um, nine times out of 10, that's a scammer. And you can always figure out if the profile is a scammer or not by going back to that group that the person's supposed to be the admin or moderator in and clicking the profile in the group where it says admin next to their name and clicking message and seeing if it's the same message thread as the profile you see in the group with the admin tag on it. All right, so I kind of went off and rambled on a few random things, but basically, what you're gonna need is to establish your profile. You're gonna have to be patient. This stuff doesn't happen overnight. Um, you need to be a trusted member in the community to really, you know, get places in inside of the community. <clears throat> it's not like buying China gear where you can just hop on a website and put your card number in and it's over. Um, it's just part of the game. And that's really it. Um, I'm mainly making this video to say that I can no longer invite people into groups unless I uh, already know who you are. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that anymore because like I said, that it's kind of sticking my neck out there. And it's just not something I'm willing to do for, pe for people that I don't know. Um, and that's, I'm not trying to come off in a negative be negative about that or anything um it's just i gotta cover my own ass and it's it's as simple as me having to cover my own ass so uh, i appreciate everybody thank you for watching this video uh we've been a little delayed on content as of lately because i had an ear infection i'm still like half deaf in my left ear right now i might be talking a little loud but uh content was delayed because my ear infection got extremely bad and I was in really bad pain uh, but as of this weekend I will be dropping two videos we'll be getting the uh, cherry pine uh, mech 21700 boral mod review out and I'll also be doing a king bow which is a monarchy boro uh, clear monarchy monarchy boro we'll be doing a video on those as well so we'll see you very shortly in a few days with some new videos. Everybody, have a great rest of your week.